There really are hidden hazards when you're camping. Nobody talks about them. Maybe people aren't even aware of them. So in this video, that's what I'm gonna tell you about because I was on a walk and watch it as I go through this walk and I'll be revealing many different hazards that you just might not expect from a beautiful place like this, a remote location, and this is the sun coming up. And by the way, I'm not talking about bears or moose, cougars, or some of the more obvious dangers that we're aware of when we're out camping. These are more subtle, but yet equally dangerous. So enjoy the walk as I go around this lake a little bit and discover some of these dangers myself. Enjoy. There you have the beginning of blue algae. It's very dangerous. This lake has some other areas which it's really thick and it causes these algae blooms that you hear about every now and then, which means you can't eat the fish, drink the water, you can't go in the water, you can't let your dog go in the water and swim. So it is something to look for. As I walked on, I could see that it was getting thicker and thicker. More close up of this. It's pretty thick in here in this area as I walked around. You might not always see it, but it could be anywhere in the lake and it could affect the fish and the water concentration. You just don't know. So one has to be very aware of this and it's not always even um, mentioned. Even if you're in a campground that is, um, you know, regulated. So you, you really should be aware of this. Well, there's some pretty big boulders up there, but I'm pretty sure I can make it. Rocks, yep. It's easy to get carried away and keep climbing up, which is what I did and climbing up these boulders. And then it's like, uh-oh, how do I get down? That can be a hidden danger. Luckily, I was able to go around these, but I just think someone should be aware of this hidden danger. Okay, so this is a, a ridge of quartz in through here. Oh my gosh, the bugs are horrible. Look at that. Yeah, my gosh. Like a little, like a whole flock of little miniature helicopters. Can you see those? They're everywhere. Well, anyway, I'm about up to the top here. And I think it's grassy land up there. Oh, well, maybe I can walk over. 
Ugh. These bugs. Okay, I just wanted to uh, zoom in here a little bit. You can see the quartz in here. I suppose they did some exploratory mining because I saw that core sample rock earlier. Now oh, here we are. This is pretty steep. I'm definitely not walking down here. I'll walk all the way around. But man, these little bugs are crazy. Yeah, this is a steep drop off. Down there you can see that algae bloom again. Weird. I guess it's because it's been a warm summer. Alright. So, if I don't get too attacked, look at those bugs. I gotta walk through all these bugs. I'm going to the top of this hill here. And uh, I just got to see what's around. I want just want to see what's around, uh, like, over there. So there's been these cool ducks. Uh, I'm not sure if this is the one that I'm seeing. And I'm not... I don't know what they are, but... They're pretty amazing because they'll dive down. And... <laughs> You know, you won't see them for a long time. And over there last night, I saw a whole bunch of swans. Probably, I don't know, a flock of 30. Well, to venture back, here you can see the um, more of that kind of a ridge. I'm just going to walk along that ridge instead of down by the water. Even though I don't have my leather boots, I'm going to take my chances. Look at these bugs again. I mean, it's crazy. These are the things. This is the reality of camping. <laughs> and this is the illusion. No, it's beautiful. It's worth it. I don't mind the bugs. It's just that one isn't really always prepared for those things. Wow. It's so calm right now. So still. So anyway, I'm going to walk back over there. I'll take some photos along the way of anything of interest. So keep watching. So yeah, hidden hazard number four, holes, fox holes, rabbit holes. You never know. So you got to always be watching out for those as you're walking along. Well, I don't know if you can tell or not, but this is like a sheer cliff right here. And... Uh, I noticed some of those birds, ducks, whatever they are talking about. So I'm going to zoom in, see if I can see them before they disappear. I think they're coots, but I don't really know. See that guy? I don't know if, if I can pick him up. There he is. There he goes. Now I can hold my camera here for quite a while. And we won't see them. Except out there are a couple more. I'm going to go slow and see if I can find them here. I have this on a really powerful zoom right now. There they are. A couple other ones. There must be fish around here because I've seen these guys around here from a great distance over by where we were camping. So pretty sure, pretty sure there's fish down in there, although you're not supposed to 
eat the fish here. Anyway, I'm still heading up that ridge, going around. Okay, I heard some gunshots on the other side of this ridge, so I'm going to walk the lower part of it onward. That's an old one. Okay, so I made it through the the rough rock area and now I can head down to the the beach. It's just going to be a little bit easier walking. Plus I have well, I'm starting to get a little nervous about rattlesnakes, so I better listen to my guts. And we'll we'll head down there and Go on that way. So this high altitude desert land is really not that much different than what you would see in a lot of parts in Arizona. Uh, just for your information, I am in southwest Montana right now. Head down there. So this is all old horse prairie land. At one time wild horses ran rampant through here and there was a civilization that passed through here 12,000, 12,000? 12, yeah, 12,000 years ago and leave it to Mike, he actually found a tool. Yeah, you wouldn't really think in a beautiful place like this you'd have to be worried about hazards. Well, I guess you do. But anyway, here's some uh, more coolness around the place.
Well, I just wanted to mention a few of these hidden hazards, and I hope you learned something from this video, and you'll keep your eyes open on your next adventure out. We still had a great time, even though there were bugs and a few other hazards that prevented us from doing certain things, but it, all in all, it was a great little outing, so keep on camping and boondocking and having a great time. And thanks for watching Travels with Lucky. Thank <laughs> you.